Hi, welcome to another episode of Storytime with Ms. B. Today, we are going to work on numbers from zero and more. But I know you're wondering, why do I need to know that? Because you do. It helps this, the brain, the busy brain, because we are busy bees and we are doing good in math and reading. And you never know how we could help you in your daily activities in your life. So, and it'll help you in math class too. So let's see what we have for today. This page is called doot, doot, Zero Birds. What? Zero. Zilch, nada, nothing. Zero. But what do we do first? That's right. We read the instructions. And it says, can you see it? Okay. What does it say? It says, draw a line from zero to the groups of zero. Hmm. Draw a line from zero to the groups of zero. Zero means nothing, that there's nothing there, right? And here's the zero in the middle of the page that we have to draw a line to. Okay? Let's get right to it. Let's see. Oh, how many birds? One, two. So I'm not going to draw a bird there. Let's see. Oh, there's no birds there. So I'm going to draw a line from the zero, which is this, to the groups of zero because there's nothing there. Let's go to the next one. How many birds? One. One bird. I'm not going to draw a line, am I? That's right. Let's go to the next one. How many birds are here? There aren't any birds. So that means I'm going to draw a line from the zero all the way down there. Good. Okay, next. Hmm. This doesn't look like zero, but let me count just in case. One, two, three. I'm not going to draw a line there, right? No, Miss B. Let's go to the next one. There's no birds there. Zero birds. So I'm going to draw a line right there. Let's check this next group. One, two. So I'm not going to draw a line there, right? Right. So in the end, your paper should look like this. Let me get it real close so you can see it. All right. Good job. Give yourselves a hand. Now, the next page is not going to be like this, the last page. <gasps> Look, zero and more. This time, we have all kinds of different numbers. But what do we do first? Read the directions. That's right. So, get it close so you can see it. The directions say, how many are there circle the numbers right and they give you an example an example up here at the top sometimes you might have examples on your paper and then sometimes you may not but when you do have examples look at them first before starting so it'll kind of give you an example of what to do in your paperwork below right so here's an example of zero you're going to circle the zero, right? Okay. And then here's an example of how many sheep are there? One, two, three, four. So you're going to circle four, right? Okay. Good enough, right? Okay. So let's go to the first one. How many sheep are in this picture? Right. One. So I'm going to circle this one right there. Can you see my pencil? Good. Let's go to the next one. Let's count. One, two, three. There are three sheep in this picture. So I'm going to circle the number, the number, the, there it is. <laughs> number three. Next one. Hmm. There aren't any sheep there at all. Right. So just like this example up here, I'm going to circle 
the zero right there. Good job. Let's go to the next one. How many sheep are in this picture? One, two. Good. So I'm going to circle the number two. Good job, you guys. Let's go to this one. How many sheep are in this picture? Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four sheep in this picture. So I'm going to circle the number four. Where do we see another four? That's right. Right up there. Okay. Now the last one. Hmm. How many sheep are in this picture, you guys? Right. There aren't any sheep in there. So I'm going to circle zero, just like I did here, and just like they did for us in our example up there. Right. So your paper should look like this. Da -da -da -da. All right. We have time for one more, but we're going to go. What comes after four? Five. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. This one is called five trains. Why is it called five trains? Because there are one, two, three, four, five trains. Actually, it's the number five, and our example here is five trains. The number five. And this is what the word looks like when you spell out the number five. And then trains, trains, okay? Let's read our instructions. Always read the instructions first, okay? Then you can look at your example and then read the instructions, okay? Here we go. The instructions say, draw a line from five to the groups of five. Ah, so here's the five, and then here's all these groups, but they have to be five. Our paper is the number five, and our example gives us five trains. One, two, three, four, five. Let's find those groups of five. Let's start with these spinning tops right here. Let's see, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna draw a line from five to the group of five. Let's go to the toy soldiers. One, two, three, four, five. A ten hook, five soldiers reporting. <laughs> so we're gonna draw a line right there. Let's go to the sailboats. How many sailboats are there? One, two, three. Hmm, I'm not gonna draw a line there because the directions say five. Okay, let's go to the parumpa pum pum drums. One, two, three, four, five. I am gonna draw a line from the five to the group of five. Let's go to the sports gear. Looks like balls. Soccer ball, play ball, football, basketball, baseball. How many are there in this group of sports balls? Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes. And last but not least, these gorgeous teddy bears. How many are there? One, two, three, four. I'm not going to draw a line there, right? Right. This is what your paper should look like. Excellent job. Give yourselves a hand. Good job. We did went from zero to four and then five. Good job. We're learning our numbers. We're learning sounds and letters and beginning sounds and everything all comes together so we can learn how to read and be good readers. That's all the time we have for today. Keep smiling, keep learning, and keep reading. I'll see you next time.